Greetings internet, it's Monica and today I am going to be talking about something that I am so passionate about and that is bookstores. I just love a good bookstore. I love browsing the shelves and talking to employees and getting recommendations and discovering new things and I love seeing what they prioritize, how they display things. Like I just think it's so cool and I just love that whole world and I especially love the bookstores of New York City. There are so many amazing bookstores in the city. I feel so incredibly privileged that there are just such there's just there's just like an endless supply of like beautiful perfect wonderful bookstores and today I wanted to celebrate that and tell you guys a bit about some of my favorite bookstores here in the city and show you a look inside of each one. So today I'm just going to be talking about five bookstores. I definitely have more than five favorites. So if you would like to see a part two to this, or if you would just like more sort of New York City recommendation content, let me know in the comments down below. I'd also love to hear from you guys just like what is your favorite bookstore that you've ever been to, bookstore or library that you've ever been to in your life. I'd love to hear about them. And without further ado, let's jump in. The first bookstore that I want to talk about is McNally Jackson. And the one that I am going to be particularly highlighting is their newest location, which is in Williamsburg. This bookstore is so beautiful. It is just light and airy. Like I walk in there and I just, it just feels like a breath of fresh air. Everything is so spaced out and just beautifully laid out and it's so clean and I, I just love being in there. It's like so soothing. I think that's the best word for the McNally Jackson Williamsburg location. I also love McNally Jackson for the way that they organize their books. They organize them not just by here's literature and here's nonfiction, etc. They really focus on having diverse voices and especially international voices. So you can go in there and you can go to the Korean section of the like Asian section and you can find books that are by Korean authors and sometimes in a lot of other bookstores that will just sort of be grouped together in the fiction world or whatever sort of the the book actually is categorized under and so it's really nice to have that extra bit of categorization to help you find what you're looking for. I also love this particular McNally Jackson because there's just lots lots of spots to sit and read and just sort of enjoy your time at the bookstore. I love browsing the recommendation tables. I think they just offer really fantastic recommendations. They're often books that I've never heard of and I just feel like I always leave there with something new either in my hand or on my wish list that I'll pick up next time I'm in store. The next bookstore I want to talk about is Housing Works. They sell primarily used books and through that they're able to raise funds for the homeless and people with AIDS and I just really love the idea that you know this isn't that this is a bookstore and so it's somewhere where you go and, and purchase books but it's also really a beacon in the community and is a space that's for the community and and building a better a better city and I love that and the bookstore itself is just so lovely to spend time in there is a cafe which is wonderful I love the housing works cafe and I just I love the spiral staircases that let you go up to the second level it's just such a wonderful atmosphere it definitely has that cozy vibe so if that's what you're looking for in a bookstore I highly recommend it another new bookstore that I have been loving recently is books are magic now, this one you might be familiar with if you follow me on Instagram which by the way you should do that um, <laughs> but Books Are Magic is, I think, the most aesthetic bookstore in New York City. And I don't say that to discount how amazing it is as a bookstore too. But design-wise, it is so modern and so, like, hip to today's design trends that it's such a great place if you are into like bookstagram you will love this place it has a fantastic mural on the side of the bookstore building that is a great place to take photos it says books are magic and it's just a great place to celebrate books and then just browsing in there is so lovely i love the exposed bricks and the sort of like little windows that allow you to peek into the different parts of the bookstores i love the neon signs and the skylight and the various different types of merch that you can buy from there are is really cute they have one like wall pennant that says books are magic that is like 
on my wish list. I want it so badly. It's so cute. And then again, I love browsing their sort of recommended tables because I think that they do a really great job of curating the books that go in their store. And also the back area is where both children's and YA are. And it's just such a lovely place. Like I feel like taking a child there to read would be such a magical experience. They have like little nooks and crannies where children can like climb into and read a book and they have a really comfy couch it's just like such a great place i think it'd be an amazing place for families i'll also throw out there that books are magic has an amazing list of events they do such a good job of getting an ongoing group of people coming in and out authors of all different types coming in and talking about their books so i love books are magic it's a new bookstore in the city but it has quickly become one of my absolute favorites the next bookstore that i am so excited to tell you guys about because i I feel like this bookstore I never see on lists about New York City bookstores and it is obviously one of my favorite bookstores of the city. It's such an amazing space and it is Blue Stockings Bookstore and this bookstore is actually a an intersectional feminist bookstore and not only that but it is entirely volunteer run and they are a community center. They offer up their, their space for um, meetings for the community to come in and I just think it's so amazing. I think the cause of the bookstore is amazing amazing and the the selection itself is so fantastic because you know that all of the books have been hand selected to have that sort of like feminist focus. I just love browsing that bookstore and knowing that I am going to leave with something that's going to broaden my mind. It's a pretty small bookstore so it's definitely very curated but they have everything from nonfiction to manga and I love that they also section things out by different types of different elements of feminism from like different parts of like from like looking at the LGBTQ perspective um, to focusing on LGBTQ plus books and also including different cultures and countries and it's just like they do such a fantastic job of just laying out the bookstore and making it super easy to walk in and find what you're looking for but also discover something amazing and new and so I just adore bl blue stockings and they also have like a, a small little cafe where you can get a cup of coffee or tea or some pastries so that's another reason why I love it. And then the last bookstore on this list is one that I honestly I couldn't make this top five list without including this bookstore because it is is my first love as far as bookstores in this city are concerned and it is of course the Strand. Now the Strand is huge. It has so many books and it's just like one of my favorite places to go and just get lost and just wander and it's set up in a way that it's so easy to kind of get a little turned around in the stacks especially if you're in that bottom floor area but it's such a, an amazing place to just explore and let yourself sort of discover new books and the employees there are just impeccable. They know their stuff. They are amazing at giving recommendations and just chatting with. If you're in New York City visiting and you're looking for a souvenir either for yourself or a loved one, it's one of the best places in my opinion to go because they have like such amazing merch, like both the Strand merch and also like New York City in general merch. They have a incredible pin selection like as soon as you walk in they have so many amazing pins so many cool tote bags mugs etc i just love all of that stuff but then they also have amazing books and such a fantastic like really like interesting selection and i also i love their featured tables too they're so good and they they do really interesting um themes for their different tables so like when hamilton was a big thing they had like a whole hamilton table um and it was like books that lynn manuel miranda loved so they do really interesting things like that with their tables as opposed to just having sort of normal recommended books the top floor has the rare books room and this is where they have just really old first edition or early edition copies of various books. I once saw a first edition of one of the Harry Potter books there and it was a really amazing experience. So just like cozy. They have like leather armchairs up there that you can sit in and it's just really cool especially up there to like browse the books even though 
they're all definitely out of my price range. It's nice to just sort of like look around and be amongst that history of literature. So yeah, those are five of my favorite books in the city. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys what your favorite bookstore or library in the world that you've ever been to is, or if you would like to see me do more of these types of videos talking about either bookstores in the city or just New York City in general, let me know. I'd be happy to do that, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye!